Hey, what's going on, guys? Very special day today. I'm your friend Keith, and we're here with Clint, Clint, Clint <laughs> from Beneath the Embers. Uh, crazy guitar. We've got Matt Tuck from Bullet from My Valentine's personal BC Rich signature prototype. This came to the studio. Uh, Matt signed the back of the headstock. We we've got uh, a couple guitars from him and and uh, one of his PV sixty five hundred five amps as well. But this is what he played on stage. There's only two prototypes in the world. His production signature ended up getting a totally different headstock. So this is this is the only one you can play like this. It's silver sparkle, black bevels, and the USA Custom Shop did all the details on it. We're not quite sure if it was built in Korea or not. It has a Korean uh, decal on it, but the Custom Shop was preparing what the mass-produced model would eventually look like it's got a thick neck profile but it's actually thinner than the production uh junior v or jrv guitar so th there's nothing quite like this one and clint has been dying to get his hands on this thing because he's a huge bullet for my valentine fan so uh, take it away clint talk to me about this okay thing. so uh, yeah so bc rich you know we've done a video earlier i've got a bc rich guitar i've owned a couple of bc uh, bc riches um you know through my own music um bullet for my valentine have probably been quite a big influence certainly on my uh, my vocalist as well and as you can probably see with my signature series sat to the side there is a lot of similarities to the kind of setup that this guitar has and what's ended up um, in mine. Now you know the guitar is very 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 light, you know, massively light and you can you can feel the quality of the of the build just by literally touching it. You know, you've got the two EMG pickups in there, you know, the, the guys in Bullet from Valentine are famous for using EMG. Both him and uh, Paige use um, active EMG pickups. Um, Silver Sparkle you know, it's kind kind of eye catching. Not necessarily the type of finish I'd have on uh, on on one of mine, as you can see. Um, I don't think I can pull off silver sparkle as well as, as Matt can. So I dig it. I think I think <laughs> so it looks if, cool. If you're man. watching Matt, you, yeah. you do silver sparkle quite well, do you? Um, Are you saying he sparkles? Oh, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, down the bottom here, obviously, you can kind of see there's like an offset on the actual. Um, it's like a little bent tip. Yeah, the yeah. tip's bent. It kind of reminds me of like a, an airplane where they have like the little winglets at the end where they bend up. It's like, a nice little touch. It just makes the, 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 the lines, the profile, ever so slightly different, which is what you want. A nice little, a, a little subtle edge to say, hey, that's that. Yeah, that, that that's one. I love the head. Um, uh, I love the headstock, dude. I wish they kept it for the production yeah, model. Absolutely banging, you know. It's proper BC rich, but you know the lines of the V with the you know uh, the head like that just looks sexy as the really. Am I mistaken, or doesn't Dean have like for the Dave Mustaine guitars? Don't yeah. they have a headstock that's very yeah, yeah, similar yeah, yeah, to that? Yeah, yeah, they absolutely do. Yeah. They but this this one was made back in two thousand and ten. It toured across America. I think it did uh, a little more touring on the other side of the world. And then uh, I think it got put into retirement when his full time or uh, full production model came out. Yeah, fair one. But he's known, you know, I've seen him live loads of times, and you know he'll pull out a Gibson, and you know I've seen him with an ESP and bits and pieces. So you know, um, when you when you're at that level of the industry, you can pretty much do what you want. Yeah. Um, you know, talking about the neck, though, I know you mentioned the neck earlier. I suppose it seems wide to hold, but it it actually feels really, really comfortable how does really? it feel compared to your profile and yours would you say? Uh, the, the, the neck yeah so um this the finish on the back of this obviously this is gloss yeah, and paint you know, exactly and you have... the same exactly the same sort of um feel to, to the back of mine but it, you know it's slightly slightly wider mine's slightly thinner grip wise okay um you know but the weight i'd say pretty much exactly the same you know there's really? no, no massive difference um whatsoever and as i explained earlier with with mine you know that the weight thing was quite uh, an actual conscious comment and discussion with Justin who designed my guitars. So, you know, you don't want to be a big chunky thing if you're you know, quite an active performer. It needs to be kind of kind of light as best you can with a, with a good balance. But, you know, string through body, exactly, you know, what I like. And there's a tunematic bridge, um, you know, or tunematic style bridge on there. Um, whereas, obviously, I've got the roller, roller saddles. Um, but that, again, you know, I'm quite heavy right-handed, so I was, like, just chopping the end of the strings off of mine. But... Um, but yeah, you've got um, you know your, vol your, your volume uh, pots on here, volume tone, and then your um, your selector your selector switch. But yeah, you know the neck the neck profile on the top end here really really nice. I really like it. Really really nice. Really really comfy. Cool man. 
Well, let's, uh, let's hear it in action. Right, well, let's see if, uh, considering it's Matt Tuck's guitar, I'm going to see if I can pull off um, a, a Bullet From Valentine riff. So, if it's bad, Matt, I apologise. <laughs> uh, I apologise in, in, in advance. <laughs> And when you, you just, when you start getting the picking like they do on the album for that tune, you can really hear it um, coming through the out. And obviously, with as I, with all the videos we've done today, I've not changed anything on that Hughes and Kettner from what I do through through my setup. And you know that really really. <laughs> Good articulation, you know, good, good, good sound. Really comfy under under my hand. So you know, if you're a collector and you want a decent bit of kit that's been owned by, you know, someone at that level, this is definitely you know a modern guitar from the modern era that you want to get your hands on. Yeah, man. How much do you want for it? Because I might take it. <laughs> We've got a deposit on it already, actually. What? So I know. What? I'm starting to break hearts here, yeah. but it's not available. Um, but how about we hear some clean tones on it? Yeah, let's. Switch through to the other to the eighty five yeah. Zach Wilde set up there. So really warm. Yeah, man. Well, I hope I made your wildest dreams come true here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, Mega that you get to play, you know, a guitar that's owned by, you know, someone that's had a massive influence on your own on your own music. Not only owned by him, but his his actual signature model, owned by him, performed live, everything toured across America. It's totally nuts. That's really cool, man. Yeah. Definitely. So, but now you have to carry the torch for heavy metal, especially over here in the UK. So. Tell us about Beneath the Embers, man. Yeah, so, you know, Beneath the Embers, you know, we're from the uh, the North Essex metal scene. You know, our first full UK tour starts in June through December this year. Uh, we had a release about a year and a half ago um, with our EP Ashes, which you can get off all the, you know, the streaming platforms, Spotify, Deezer, Google, Amazon, all that good stuff. Uh, and hopefully we'll be releasing the album, you know, sort of summertime summertime this year in conjunction with the tour. Um, and yeah, you, you know, jump across to our website, beneathembers.co.uk. You can see all the dates for where we are around East Anglia and the South Coast between June and December. Links through to all our socials, which you can find at Beneath Embers, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And if you're viewing here on YouTube, drop across to our YouTube channel, have a look at us doing our stuff live. Plenty of videos on there. Leave a comment. Make sure you click subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Or get yourself to a show. Come see what we're about. Awesome, man. It's been great having you here. I think it's the last video of the day. But uh, really appreciate it. We'll definitely have you back to do more videos. I, I, I can already... Guess what the comments will be? It's gonna be people thinking that I finally <laughs> have gotten around to doing like proper demo videos. Uh, but that's all right, you know, slow and steady. Uh, other than that, guys who have been watching, thanks for sticking around. Subscribe if you haven't already. For God's sake, it's free; it costs you nothing. And head on over to the studios socials at Essex Recording Studios, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and um, we get a lot of cool celebrity-owned guitars. Uh, we just had two from Megadeth that are going off to a, a guitar collector in Luxembourg who's got a museum. So stick around on the channel, guys. You'll see a lot of crazy stuff like this. Very common. So uh, I think that's it, man. It's my birthday today, so I'm going to go drink some beers. Have some beers, man. Yeah. I've, I've got rehearsals, so uh, I'm going to go to another studio and play some more guitar. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Later.